my channel, welcome to Fairy Place, you can call me Fairy, the shoutout of the day goes to Royal Loyalty, thank you so much for your lovely comment, thank you so much everybody for your amazing comments, how are you guys, I hope you're doing great, I am sorry I have been gone for a little bit, Um, I got sick, unfortunately I had to take some time to recover, but I'm back, Um, I'm still not 100% but I am feeling a little bit better and I came back today uh, in Royal High because I know the update is getting super super close if you guys missed it um, There was like a whole uh, thing going on on Twitter uh, yesterday So Royal High went viral basically started trending on Twitter So apparently what happened was that one of the developers tweeted that uh, the update was basically ready But they were just waiting for Barbie aka call me Bob to wake up uh, because she apparently was sleeping so somebody came up with a hashtag wake up Barbie and Twitter went crazy guys this was literally my face reading all the tweets there was there were memes there were all kinds of uh, tweets people even changed their profile pictures to Barbie's profile picture and yeah that was basically my face the whole time reading all the tweets I was like in bed under my covers trying to get better but all these memes kept me busy <laughs> But anyway, the whole Royal High community is going crazy, guys. Uh, the whole Royal High community is running out of patience. They're wondering why the update is not here yet. And you know what? I think they have a good excuse. I think we all need to remember that they are human. And even some of the team are working on their own games. Uh, Jam Jam Ju is actually coming up with her own game. I think Beyonce is also working on something on her own. So that is awesome that they are growing as artists. And I think that we all need to support that. There's a good reason why this update is not here yet. But anyway, with that being said, let's go to the trading hub uh, so we can start this video. Because today I thought, why not? let's make a video testing out all of the all of the valentine's day accessories because i discovered that most of them guys most of them glow in the dark okay so first let's start with a darling valentina skirt and if you forgot or or you don't know yet how to make your items glow in the dark or glow neon do not worry i'm about to remind you right now so first we're going to go to where it says color both and then you're going to go to 600 colors and skin tones palette and you're going to pick this color in particular it has to be this color that has like a red square around it and then you're gonna click on that and then we go to infinite colors and then you're going to start playing around with it and picking your own color that you want. And yeah, so it's super easy. And here's the Darling Valentina skirt. This is what it looks like. So yeah, guys, I already showed you this particular outfit on one of my videos not too long ago because it just looked so, so cool. And uh, the reason I decided to make this video is it's because I already made a video of things that glow in the dark. I went over that in my hacks video. But do you guys remember I had so little items the only item I could use was the real life mermaid skirt but now guys this is amazing most of the items in the valentine's day shop uh, most of those accessories glow in the dark with this trick and i want to show you guys here today okay okay so you guys saw all of the darling valentina set now let's go for the bow and arrow guys this item is so cool i love this item so much okay so this one is one of the accessories that actually already glows on its own a little bit you don't even have to add that special neon color but uh let me show you right here what i mean okay so as you can tell right here this uh line this pink line is what i just made neon with that particular color but this two lighter color spots or white spots were already glowing on their own so even if you don't use this trick this bow and arrow is still going to glow on its own but if you wanted to glow more definitely do the neon trick and then you can actually pick different colors like color one and color two and it's gonna glow in both colors so it's super super cool all right now let's go for the parasol and guys on one of my last videos i mentioned how this is not the original parasol this is called the elegant parasol 
And if you are wondering what the difference is, there really isn't any difference on the item itself. So what happened, uh, the reason why they reworked on it or they came up with a new version, it's because the original version actually had this glitch that when you turned it neon the way I'm doing here, it made it blink, like blink in neon colors. And you know how there is some people that are sensitive to flashing lights? Apparently, this parasol, uh, when it blinked, the original parasol, was causing people to have seizure, guys. That is terrible. That is so dangerous. So obviously, the Royal High team noticed that. They worked on it. They fixed it. So now this is the better version, basically, because that is literally the only difference. The parasol looks exactly the same. So because of that, I still don't understand how there's people still selling the original parasols for like 300,000 diamonds when this one is the same and it costs 60,000. I mean, I guess some people want to have the flashing light thing. I don't know, guys. But yeah, that is is literally the only difference all right now let's go and get that teddy bear and of course uh, most of you already knew that that teddy bear glowed how cute it is i love this teddy so much i am so glad they brought it back and we got an opportunity to buy it okay guys now let's look at this little sailor hat <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Wow, this glowed more than I thought it was going to glow. I love it. I love it, guys. I love this hat. And not only for like Valentine's Day, like this hat goes with a lot of things. Okay, guys, now let's talk about the veil. The veil, oh, one of my favorite items of this valentine's day shop and on my last video i mentioned why it's just so cute i particularly love the butterflies in the back holding the veil i think that was the cutest detail and actually the butterflies already glow on its own you don't even have to do this trick or anything but if you want the whole veil to glow definitely make it neon and watching it like this like neon pink and the little butterflies uh glowing neon green actually gives me like gives me an idea of making an outfit of like a creepy bride maybe if you make it like neon red with neon green i don't know i think that'll be super cool so the next item guys it's this uh cute purse this little purse is so so awesome it actually already glows on its own you don't even have to do this neon trick it already glows but i feel like it just glows kind of white it kind of looks like you're holding um a light inside of your bag you know what i mean um but if you use the neon trick it glows and you can change the color however you like and i believe the bow that is on the bag itself glows as well i am not sure it's hard to see right here because it is so dark so all i see it's just like the big heart and then that detail in the middle but anyway this item is so so cute all right guys now since we are talking about bags already let's look at the aphrodite bag and this item is so amazing i love it so as you can tell it's not glowing at all right now but let's go put that neon color and there we go oh yeah this is so cool this is so cool. Wow. Wow. It actually glows like a very bright. It glows brighter than I expected. I'm a little sad that the little wings don't glow, but you know what? I'm, I'm not, I'm not even complaining. I love it. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually make it neon in two different colors. So let's go to color one and we're going to keep that yellow. And in color two, we can make it pink. And as you can tell, the big yellow heart is actually surrounded by these little pink uh, ruffle details at the edge it's so cute okay guys and now the last item it's actually this uh rose corsage and i know this is such a small little item the roses don't glow but look at the lace details guys look at the lace details they glow so cute i thought that was such a cute special detail the fact that the lace glows neon all right guys now let's go crazy let's put everything let's put let's put all of the neon accessories on including the dear dolly set that like i mentioned before glows in the dark all of it all of it glows neon oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, this is a lot. This is a lot for my eyes. I'm sorry if I'm hurting your eyes back home. But, <laughs> guys, I'm not even holding my teddy right. The poor teddy is like flopped down because I'm holding so many things in my hand. <laughs> 
bad idea, bad idea. Okay guys, that was the last accessory. And as you can tell, most of the accessories from the Valentine's Day shop glow in the dark or glow neon with the exception of a few, I believe. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that told me who this man in the trading hub was. You guys were completely right. It is indeed Builder Man. And thank you guys for being so kind about it. Um, With the exception of some people that were like, OMG, you don't know who that is? Guys, the way you respond to things like this, like when somebody doesn't know something, tells a lot about who you are as a person. And I am so happy. Uh, it makes makes my heart so happy to know that most of the people that watch my videos and most of my amazing fairies that follow me are so kind and you guys are you guys are amazing as you guys know i started playing this game not too long ago i'm still super super new in this game in this whole roblox community so i'm still learning little by little but it's so nice for me to know that there is such amazing people like you in the community guys thank you so much but with that being said if any of you that are watching this video right now are new to roblox make sure to subscribe to my channel because i am kind of new too whatever tips i have you bet i'm going to tell you that is the one thing i've noticed about a lot of roblox youtubers is that because they've been playing for so long um i feel like they forget to mention certain things uh in case there is new people like my last treasure chest video i got so many comments guys like oh my gosh those treasure chests are so old those treasure chests have been there forever but yes, that is why I did it because I know that some of you are watching are also new to Roblox or to Royal High in this case. So I definitely want to help you guys out as much as I can. So once again, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you for being the most amazing little fairies. You guys and your comments every single day make me so happy. I hope I'll see you soon. I hope that I'll see you soon with a new Royal High update. Thank you, guys. Bye.